Welcome back to my channel. Oh. Wow. That was horrid. Well, anyways, welcome. I am still got my makeup on from my witchy costume. I'm just rocking it. I don't feel like taking it off yet. Although it's coming off soon because I'm super itchy. I'm not a full face makeup person. It's normally eyeliner and a little bit of mascara. But, off topic. What's in my bag? You, yeah, you. Yeah. I already had this done once and I don't know where the footage went. But I moved from another bag into this bag and now this bag's going into another bag because this is not bringing me joy. I can't control what's in there. This is my Dooney and Burke bag. Let me take this off so you can see. These are on this clips here. Maybe. So that's what it looks like. It's just too big. There's too much real estate and I can't control anything and now I can't get it undone because it's so chubby. Mm. Inside, this is what we got going on. It's like a, a bucket bag until you pull the flappy over. It has feet. Oh, that's it. Like a luggage. And I'm going to use my brown fossil um, Sydney Satchel Croco, Croco for Croco. And I don't know if you can tell, but there is a significant size difference. This one's empty. You see that? Okay, inside here, all I got is some stuff. In. So we're going to remove that. Drop that down on the floor. There. And all I leave in it is a silica packet. I always leave those in there because it helps with... There's lots of dirt and dust from the last time. But it is also similar to a bucket bag where you can just shove all your goods in there. Okay, so let's get into it, Heather. Nobody cares. <laughs> okay. Mask, everybody needs a, a good mask, right? It's like two uh, face off that movie with John Travolta and what's his name? I am using at the moment my coach wallet. I needed a little bit of a change. This is going to change as well because now that I've used the fossil one for so long, this is just too, too like big, and I I love this. It's a purple looking gunmetal sparkle inside i have a receipt from the post office for mailing y'all's goods a book of stamps and all my my jazz okay tissues whoops receipt from tj maxx umbrella my tooth bag, which houses toothpicks and toothpaste, a toothbrush, all that. Another receipt. This one's from Pizza Hut. Love Pizza Hut. I'm still a sucker for that. Whoops. Some money. How much I got? Five, six, seven, eight dollars floating. This is a little coach. Grab and go is what I call it. You have a spot for credit cards here, um, ID, a credit card slot there, and an open pouch. I like this when I'm running in a store and I don't want to carry a whole bunch of crap. I'll check in the necessities and go. And I always keep it, try to keep one in my bag so that I know where it is and I ain't got to go all the way searching. Mints, my pill pack. This is by Coach as well. And I love, I love this. I want to get another one, but I can't bring myself to spend the money on it when I already have one. And we have another little coach. I love, love coach products. 
Um, a lot of my bags are coach because they, they do, they do bring me joy. They're beautiful bags. Goods, chapstick. Uh, some Aleve and Advil, Band-Aids, trimmers, that jazz. I'm going to change these out. So I will probably pause this when I empty this and go grab new bags because these have been in there for a while. You know? I just want something new. A full-size flashlight. Walmart. TJ Maxx, I did a return. I bought a wallet and I thought it was going to be like the cat's behind. No, my card got stuck in it because the glue. They glue it and then they stitch it, but they order glued it. So when my cards got in, the tape measure, I couldn't get them out. I had to have um, my husband help me. I even tried using a pair of pliers. Yeah, it wasn't happening. Okay. That's in the big pouch back pocket Altoids lotion um, hand sanitizer a little jelly pen inhaler that is it in the pocket here I got my coat mirror my Louis Vuitton key holder do not purchase one of these unless you can absolutely afford it because it's not worth the money if you can buy something different glass vial everybody should have one of those you rinse it and it's like brand new eos lotion my bag holder you sit on the table and you hang you hang your bag like this so it doesn't touch the floor multi-tool it has screwdriver bits and stuff in and then a whole bunch of hair stuff like bobby pins and buttons barrettes uh, elastics, a gross piece of tape, and there was a knife in there as well. So that is that. It has, I'm trying to do this so you can see, ain't gonna work. Um, a pocket here that has a snap closure. Okay. And on the side, it also has another pocket that's a little bit smaller. On this side of the bag, you have your zipper pocket and another good size pocket here. And there's the Dooney label. And this is like, oh God, it's, um, I don't know what material it is. I can't remember. I've had this bag for a while. Um, but it kind of reminds me of like the 70s couches, that upholstery feeling, upholstery. insanity and it does have a key finder as well i'm going to skip upstairs and find two of these that i want to use and i will get back to you all right hold on okay so while i was up there i changed my mind <laughs> out goes this and i am going to use one of my all-time favorites the city tote I've had this one for like three years and I love this bag and um, I use this one for god I want to say like a year and a half straight and it's still oops, except for it's a little wonky looking in fantastic shape this is why I love coach they're less expensive than the really high brand high name brands but still um, very good quality. Very, very good quality. So, I am going to go with this one. And this is the yen. It is a tote bag. Ooh, it's got an earring in there. Cool. I think these are my mom's. <laughs> she, sometimes, when I have her, she'll take her earrings out in my car. She's like, hold on to these. So, I got a pair of her little pearls. I know they're hers because I don't wear pearls and I never change my earrings. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. Um, so it's got one big zip here. Works wonders. And then on this side we have big pockets. Okay, so I'm going to stick my wallet back in. 
for now until I decide where I want to go with that. My umbrella. My change bag. My tape measure can go in the corner. In the zip pocket, I always put the keys. This is all it is. It's got these here. And just an open slot here. And this thing is disgustingly overpriced. Disgustingly. And it doesn't wear as well. This is leather. This is leather. Almost all my bags are leather. But I don't know if you can see. This is all cracked. And all I do is put it from one bag to the other. That is it. I rarely ever pull it out to use it. Coach mirror is going back in. The mints will go in that side pocket over there, as well as the hand sanitizer, my breather, and my hand lotion, my EOS I put in the back, my knife and file go in the back, all my hair crap goes in that pocket. Let's see. Trying to go quickly. My pen, if it's closed, I hang on one of those pockets there. My mints. There's no, I usually have this on an outside pocket, but we're going to stick it in that zip pocket. My medicine goes in the bottom. This will hang on one of those pockets as well, so I can reach it. Flashlight. I always put it opposite of my umbrella. Yeah. That way I know if I touch a cylinder and go by the feel, I know it's on the outside of the back. Okay, this little guy, I'm going to continue to use this one in my bag. I'll tuck that behind the wallet. My tissues. Let me set this down for a second. <clears throat> I purchased this sometime last year, and I've never used it. I opened it like so. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's so cute, but it's a little too big. And I stuck it back in the bag. So sad because this is so freaking adorable. So I'm going to combine these two, hopefully, into here. This is a, um, I think it's the cosmetic bag. As you can tell, I still haven't even pulled these off to cover the little leather. Oh, okay. Let's see what I can do with the ants. It still has its original stuffing, which is so hard to get out. <laughs> it's such a beast. They pack them so well. Uh, do the Coach Outlet um, website as, regular, as well as the regular. You can get some smashing wheels. Smashing, baby. And this one comes with two silicas. I will leave a silica, silica in there. You get your coach care card, which will stay in your do not steal me. And then you have a little pocket in the back, which has more paper stuffed into it. And it does have a snap. And in said snap, you have another foamy and the tag for this, which was $98. I'm pretty sure I got it on sale. And if I didn't, um, it was because I needed a certain amount of money to get a deal on something else. But isn't it just so pretty? Still smells brand new. Okay, I'll put the tag back in that back pocket as well as the care card. And then I will drop a silica in the bottom. I always keep the silicas in there just to help with moisture from going in the house, out the house, in the house, out the house, from the car to store to whatever. I like to keep one in there. Two is just too much until I store it. Okay, this was all my chapstick and Believe and Advil's. Abandoned Vaseline, where am I at? 
like 15 minutes. I got some fresh naps and another Band-Aid and some nail clippers. I'm starving. Another knife and a bobby pin. A pair of contact lenses. Another Band-Aid. A baby pair of tweezers. I'll tuck that in that back pocket. And that is that. I love these. These are their little wristlets. I have like five or six different ones. Do I have another one here? Nope. I thought I did, but it's my other lucky bag that I gotta take upstairs. Okay, and then we got the what is this called? Patent leather one. All of these detach from one side and you can hook it back on itself so you can carry it like so if you choose. I normally just keep them hooked like so because when they're closed, it makes that loop. So you know it's closed. Okay, toothpicks. You can go in there. It's a, a picker and a flosser picker. Thing set. I love that thing. Okay. The toothbrush. I buy cheap ones, and then when I use it, I can leave it right in the restaurant trash and not have to worry about it. I have Crest toothpaste and a small tube of fix it in to hold my teeth in because that's not good. And that is that. Those are empty. I got a bobby pin. Stuff that in there. And voila, now I got just one bag. And then I'll stick this in there. You will notice on all of my bags, when I pull them out to use them, all of my bags' handles do that. You see? Because when I store them, I cross them and let them sit. Because if you don't, and you let them hang like so in their leather, this over time creates an indent in your bag. So you'll have this um, smiley face effect. Some, some people like it, some people don't. I'd prefer not to. So I will store them like this and they don't hit anything except for themselves and it still looks good. Okay, everything is in there. Great, I won't. Oh, I got the hiccups. I won't zip the pocket just so you can see. And I've got plenty of storage space on the top. Now I will zip that pocket so I don't lose anything. And I carry with me this beauty when I leave the house. It is an A6 uh, Lorite Caribbean Pirate. And that will fit in there just as well. No problem. Can't see it. And if I show me the jawbone, which is a B6 slim, will go in there as well. Ta-da. I love these bags. I love, I love a good tote bag. But sometimes, you know, you just need something different. Um, this also has the zipper. So you can zip it closed, which is another great feature about this bag. Thing, da da dang, thing, dang. So nobody can just reach in there when you have it just sitting in your grocery cart or whatever. It, I always, when I push my cart, have my hand in my handles and I hold the cart so that when I'm reaching and stuff, nobody can snag my bag. But if that's not a zip, they can reach it and take whatever they want. I don't live in a big high crime place, but I don't want to replace anything in there. You know, it's a pain in the neck. So I do keep that zipped and it has a snap right here. So you can hold that if I can see what I'm doing and it keeps it open. I always have a um, thing on the zipper. I bought a spare one so that I can reach the zipper easily if I want to. And this is the one that came on the bag. I also have um, a spare gold tag shaped one that I put on here. Sometimes they're extra pretty. Where am I? 
Where's my keys? Bang. Okay. And on every bag, I put this coach teddy bear that my daughter got me. I don't care what bag it is. It doesn't have to match. This is sentimental to me. I always use it. And these are some acrylic things my daughter made. It's a bracelet and H for me, our last name, and A and B for my kids. No, it's not because they're child A and child B. Their first names start with A and B, and um, it just happens to be my first child's an A. Second one's a B. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching my What's in My Bag. If you did, please give me a like. What? Tell me down the bottom in the squawk box <laughs> what your favorite bag to use this week is, or this month, or this year. Um, I had a great time the last time you guys did that, looking up new bags that I've never heard of, which was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, like, and, I got a buggy in my eye. Um, subscribe and hit that bell if you don't want to miss anything and share if you'd like. You know, I don't mind. Don't mind at all. <laughs> Alrighty guys, until I see you again, I love you. Please stay safe and healthy. And smile. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>